this is a video tutorial showing how to use Nuance Power PDF Advanced to edit digitizations. First of all, open the file in Nuance. To do this, right-click on the file, go to Open with Nuance Power PDF Advanced. This may take a while. Continue to let the blue circle spin. When your file has loaded, look at the full page. As you can see, there is areas to crop around this image. Now, to crop the image, go to the Edit section and Crop. Click on the cropping tool and select the area that you wish to crop. Double click on the selected area and in the opened window, Maneuver until all the extraneous areas are edited out. You may choose to apply this to just the current page, all the pages, a range of pages, or certain selected pages. You may also choose to apply it to all odd pages, even pages, or all odd and even pages. As my scan should all be in the same area, I will apply this cut to all odd and even pages. Now, you can see that all the pages have been cut. There is still a bit of space on some of them, so we may edit again and crop further. In this case, we'll ignore the first page and have our range of 2 to 9. Now, I can look at each individual page with the small arrows, or go to the very beginning with the large arrow. Now that the pages are cropped, I will need to rotate the uh, certain pages, in this case the odd pages. To do this, go to Home, go to Advanced, over Page Rotate, choose to rotate pages 180 degrees, and select only the odd pages. All pages, but only the odd pages. Then click OK. We can now see that all the pages are the right way up. While going through, I noticed that this page was still cut off. This is a problem. So if we double click on the page again, we can move the crop box to the specific page and select current page. This one will not affect any of the other pages. When you find your perfect area, click OK. Now all the pages are visible. All the text on all the pages is clear. And all the pages are facing the correct direction. To make the scan more accessible and useful to readers, it is useful now to optimize it. To optimize a scan, if you go up to the Reduce button and choose Optimize. I've chosen my settings in advance and these are explained in the guidance on Orlo. And then I click OK. As part of optimization it will ask you to save the file under a new name. It will create a new file. In this case we'll call it Aristotle Politics. Now that the file has been saved with the correct title and it has been reduced so it will take up as much space and be easier for readers to access and download, it is now would be useful to make it uh, searchable. So we click Make PDF Searchable. We want the whole document. This can sometimes take quite a long time. It is best not to run any other programs while this is running. When the document is finished, it will offer you the opportunity to review the proofreading and the, of the document. Unless there is any errors on the page that are visible, usually marks or something to block the text, the software is very good at reading uh, the text and can turn it into clear, readable, searchable text.
text without further investigation. So click Document Ready. We can test this by using Control F to search the text and typing a word. So the text has been edited to get and cropped to remove the edges. It has been had all the pages turned the correct way up. It has been reduced and optimized for the web and has been made searchable. Now we're going to add the ability to just view one page at a time. This is under the security settings. Go to manage security, go to modify, go to the initial view and change the page layout to single page. This will make it easier to read online. Don't forget to save. If the scan is being added to Orlo, then it is now complete. If it is being added to another VLE or being emailed to students, you must add a cover page. To do this, go to Home, go to Insert, find the PDF that you wish to insert, and open it. The insert page box will appear for a cover page and a copyright notice. You want it to be the very first page in a document, so put it before the existing first page. It will now be added and appear with the rest of the pages. Don't forget to save. The file is now ready. You can close new ones and upload the file to the VLE, Orlo, or whatever platform you need.